been pushing off like every responsibility of mine. Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. My hair is extra poofy because it's been in braids for like two days and two nights. It'll fall after a while but I literally just took them out and my hair always looks like this right when I take them out so gotta love it. But welcome to the first vlog post vlogtober. Getting back into the normal swing of things. My top is from Naz Thrift and it's actually one of my friend's clothing shops. She thrifts all of her pieces and then just like upcycles them and I love this because it's like 40 degrees outside today so I needed to be warm and then my leggings are always fabletic so we're comfy cozy today. Little Miss has been non-stop with her bent of bone since I got this for her. You're already like tearing it to shreds, Little Miss. Look at this. She loves these things. She has one in my car, one in Griffin's car, and then now one in the apartment. So if you don't have one for your dog, get one. She'll literally chew on this for just hours. But I'm actually going to be taking Little Miss to daycare today because I got a lot of work to do today. Kind of like a catch-up day because I feel like I've been pushing off like every responsibility of mine until after October. Like I would actually tell myself that. I'm like, okay, I'll worry about that in November. I'll worry about this in November. I'll do that in November or whatever because I was so busy with Vlogtober so I literally just kept pushing everything back and now November is here and I have to do it all. This lighting is not it but some of it is like work related things, some of it is YouTube related things, some of it is like scheduling photo appointments or grooming appointments. I did some of it this morning. I like called insurance companies about my car accident because we're still figuring all of that out so I needed to check up on that. The list goes on so today is just going to be one of those catch-up days where I try to get as much done as possible and so it's going to be a go 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 all morning all day kind of day and so I'm just gonna take little miss to daycare because that way she can just play all day instead of sleeping around all day because I won't have time to really go do anything with her today probably so if you're ever wondering like how often we take her to daycare it's days like this which are not every day like she stays at home with me the majority of the week it's just when I know I'm gonna have a really busy day I take her because I know that she'd be happier at daycare rather than sitting at home all day especially if I have to go somewhere that she can't go with me because I hate leaving her at home alone or like in her crate and stuff like that so if I'm gonna be gone and I know that already like I just bring her here because again I'd rather her be here playing than in her crate locked up Sit. Good girl. Freak. And the daycare people love to see her. They're obsessed with her. So it's a win-win for everybody. First things first, I never end up getting after pictures of the office. And I'm kind of mad at myself because now I have to kind of move my computer over to Griffin's desk. Or rather, that's what I want to do because I want after pictures of his section. And kind of all together, like how this room looks after for my socials and stuff. Because I've been posting like a picture for every day of Vlogtober. But I never posted for that day because I didn't have afters. And I was like, why didn't I do that? And again, I've been pushing that off. So I'm going to switch my computer over to his side. Kind of like clean up a little bit and then take some after photos that way I can get caught up on like my Instagram feed which I don't know if it matters to you guys but it matters to me because it'll really irk me if I don't finish it off for the rest of vlogtober so I want to do that but first kitty wants to say hello say hi <laughs> I gotta get her groomed she is so fluffy I don't want to stay here no ain't gonna keep it low now if you want to go let's go let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe striking the wind up post now Now I don't want to flood y'all's timelines, but I also need to catch up on the other vlogs because I'd like them to be in order because I'm crazy. So I'll post them throughout the day, maybe some tomorrow. Like we'll probably do some double posts for a while till I can catch up, but I'm glad I got that out of the way. I do like having this shelf here because it gives me a new vlogging space. But in order to get some of my work work done, I do need to go to the coffee shop. So I'm gonna use my new tote bag that I got from Ikea. I think this is the cutest thing in the whole wide world. And usually I just bring with me like my laptop, my iPad. Today I'm bringing my to-do list, which I got from a little shop called so fetch. I'll link them down below, but I know I'm gonna have a butt ton of stuff to do, so I wanna like write it all down. And I personally like using a mouse instead of my trackpad on my laptop, so I'm gonna bring my mouse. And that's usually it, I think. See, like, look how cute. Oh, I'm in love. I'm of course gonna bring my mask, keys, because I'll probably grab a coffee while I'm there, and then my phone. And I like to walk to the coffee shop because it is within walking distance. I know that once it starts getting really, really cold, I, I won't and I can't, but I do like it because it gets me out, gets me out in some sunshine, gets me moving a little bit. And I don't know, it just feels good to walk to the coffee shop, get some work done, and then walk back. So we're gonna walk there, get some work done, get a nice coffee, and I don't know how long I'll be there for, but probably like two hours at the minimum. <laughs> I 
just spent five hours on the same PowerPoint. I basically am making a PowerPoint to showcase the entire event season that we had. So like breaking down the pros and cons of every single race we went to, what we learned from that race, like the overall thoughts of it, overall thoughts of like all of these companies or these organizations that we pair with. Should we continue pairing with them? Should we continue going to these races? Like proving that we should be spending this money on certain races or maybe not on other races, blah, blah, blah. It's literally like 60 pages long as far as like the PowerPoint's like 60 slides long, but it's a lot of just gathering data and just figure, I don't know. It took me obviously five hours and to think I thought I was only gonna be there for like two. I got so many other things to do, but I'm gonna eat like a late lunch, early dinner, just a little bit because I'm hungry, but I also don't wanna fill myself up before Griffin gets home for dinner. I'm thinking I'm gonna have this cheese ravioli by Lean Cuisine. And usually I'm exposing myself, but usually I eat two of these because it's like not a lot of ravioli. There's only like six of them in here. So I usually eat two at once, but I just wanna have a small lunch, so we're just gonna do one. While my ravioli is in the microwave, I posted on my stories the coffee that I got today at the coffee shop. It was like a s'mores latte. It's like their specialty drink of November because like October is all about pumpkin and I'm here for s'mores. I love s'mores. So I love that they're doing like fall drinks that aren't pumpkin related. I think there needs to be more of those because I feel like every fall drink is just pumpkin, but there needs to be more. The s'mores was delicious. There was like two roasted marshmallows on it. It was so good. And there was like 37 of you guys literally DMing me, asking me where it's from because it looked really good. So I will definitely be getting that again. I think Star Starbucks is already launching their holiday drinks on November 4th, which again is crazy to me. Like October, all we had was pumpkin. Like give me different fall drinks and then we get into holiday stuff in December. Like, I don't know, people are so rushed. Like Christmas stuff was out before Halloween was over. So I don't know. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is just that stores will start putting stuff out like two months in advance before we actually get to enjoy the other month or holiday or season. So I'm personally a fan of the s'mores drink and things like that happening in November before Christmas comes. I'm gonna eat my ravioli. I'm gonna watch uh, something on YouTube because I'm still so far behind on everybody that I love to watch, but I also don't have like 30 hours to just sit here and catch up. So slowly but surely, I'll get back up to like normal time for all of my people. And then we will continue to work our way through my to-do list. Kinda disappointed that only one task took me five hours to do. So I don't know how far we'll get. Your special appointment our seat number five. Thank you. If you have reached during normal business hours, we are either on the phone or assisting the customer. Okay, never mind. They did not answer, but I was trying to schedule Kitty a grooming appointment. I think I can do that online, but I usually just like to talk to people. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, never mind, I cannot. So I will just try calling them later. Kitty's just getting so fluffy and when she gets really, really fluffy, she has a really hard time like grooming herself because her fur is so long and she's a little chunky. So I usually like to get her either a lion cut, which she has had in the past and it looks adorable, or I get a lot of her like chest hair and then her belly shaved because she can't really groom that area because she's so chunky. But I will just try them later and see if I can get something scheduled. The next thing that I really need to do is take down Vlogtober. <laughs> Cause Vlogtober is over and I haven't even planned what what any of my videos for November are going to be. So I need to redo this calendar and kind of brainstorm what I'm gonna make content wise this month. So typically I like to keep my videos organized for different like colors of different content. So my orange is usually my videos. Pink is usually like Let's Talk Tuesday. And I have other colors, but that's really the only content that I'm making right now. Like of course I used to have to plan for podcasts and stuff like that, but this is the only thing I'm doing this month. I already know I'm only gonna be posting Tuesdays and Thursdays this month because I obviously just got done doing daily vlogs and then I'm about to do more daily vlogs in December for vlogmas. I told you guys that on my IGTV Let's Talk Tuesday this week. So if you haven't watched that, you missed out on some really exciting news, but also updates and stuff like that. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. But this month we're only doing Tuesday, Thursdays. So I'm just gonna put these up here on the days because I like to kind of see visually where they're at. And then I'm gonna fill them in with what I plan to do this month. And since my Let's Talk Tuesdays go up on Tuesday as well, but this calendar doesn't have room for like two sticky notes on the same day, I'm just gonna put Let's Talk Tuesdays on Mondays. I end up filming them on Mondays anyways, so it kind of works out and still makes sense to me. I don't really know I'm gonna film this month. Like I know I'm filming this vlog and then we have, I have to do Freya's monthly pup date. She's actually 10 months today, which is absolutely crazy. So I already know like the 9th and the 11th are gonna be those two vlogs, but like I honestly don't know what else to do this month. Let me figure this out.
You guys probably cannot see this at all because of the weird lighting, but I got it figured out. Here's a little sneak peek of content coming up this month. We're of course gonna have this video that I'm filming right now, Freya's 10 month pup date. I need to do a deep clean of the apartment because I haven't done one since September before Vlogtober. Griffin and I have been dying to do another one of our adventure challenge date night boxes things. We haven't done one in months. And I've gotten a lot of requests to do my real night routine. If you remember the video that I filmed a while ago of like what I actually do in the mornings, my real morning routine, y'all loved that style of vlog that I did and you guys wanted it in the night routine. So I thought, but this month would be perfect to do that. And then we'll finish it off with my monthly videos of what I bought this month and December plan with me. That sounds good to me. And then with the Let's Talk Tuesdays, I did a Q&A a while ago and I got a lot of questions about our favorite meals from HelloFresh. So I thought I would just answer that question in an IGTV, talking about work-life balance and an update on that, like a job update, all of that kind of stuff. And then my sister's gender reveal is happening this month, specifically this week. So I'll probably have a Let's Talk Tuesday, like my feelings leading up to, my predictions, all that kind of stuff. And if you guys didn't know that my sister was pregnant and that her gender reveal was coming up and you didn't watch my Let's Talk Tuesday IGTV or you didn't watch my plane with me because I slipped that big news in both of those videos. But yes, my sister is pregnant. She's having her gender reveal this month. I'm going to be a freaking aunt. Like I... <sighs> It's hard for me to wrap my head around. Like, I, I don't think it's gonna be real to me until I see her because I haven't seen her since she's really been pregnant. So I'm excited to see her and for this to like feel real to me because right now it doesn't. But yeah, I'm probably gonna have an IGTV on that and updating you guys on what's to come because I'm gonna be kind of planning out her gender reveal party. So that'll be that IGTV. And then we'll finish out the month with an IGTV about Vlogmas coming up because that is already sneaking up on us. And I just ended daily vlogging and I feel like it's gonna creep up on me so fast to daily vlog again. So fingers crossed for me. I'm gonna try to call the grooming place again in a second But I also need to schedule a vet appointment for Freya because she's still growing And so every month I have to basically take her in to get her weighed to get her flea and tick medication So I just need to get that scheduled. Hopefully she can get in there soon This is Amanda. How can I help you? The dog's name is Freya. F is in Frank. R-E-Y-A We had a 12.30, a 2, or a 4 tomorrow Um, let's see Yeah, tomorrow Yes, yeah, I can do tomorrow at noon Thank you so very much. Alrighty, Freya is scheduled for tomorrow at noon, which is good. I have a meeting tomorrow morning at 10, but I'll be done before then. I'm gonna try the groomers one more time before they close. Jennifer speaking, how can I help you? Hi Jennifer, um, I was just calling to see if I could schedule an appointment to get my cat groomed. Is it Raquel? Yes. Kitty opening is Saturday, December 4th. What time would that be? Uh, four o'clock. Yeah, I should be able to do that. Okay. She's all set. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, we'll see you. Thanks. Bye-bye. December 4th? Jesus Christ. They are booked out for kitty groomings. Like, that's literally their soonest. So, obviously, I took it. That is crazy. It's like a whole month from now. It's already 546, which means that I have to go get Little Miss from daycare soon. But I'm hoping I can get one more thing on my to-do list done before then, which which is to edit a reel. Since I'm trying to like catch up my Instagram feed to where I am today, because I've been kind of behind, I still have a reel to edit from when we took Little Miss to the pumpkin patch and apple orchard and stuff. And I kind of want to put that together with some cute music and stuff like that. I don't know, because it's in the vlog, like the montage is in the vlog, but sometimes I like that kind of stuff to live on my feed. It's just adorable. So I'm gonna see if I can get that edited real quick within the next like 20 minutes. Sometimes reels go really quickly and then sometimes they take forever. So I'm just transferring my footage to my computer here. I know that you can edit reels in the Instagram app, but I hate it. It's really hard to like sync up the music with any beats and stuff like that, which I really like to do. So I prefer to do all of my editing on my computer. And usually I'll like save a reel or something like that with the sound that I want. And I'll also upload that into like my Final Cut Pro and use the sound. But then when I upload it to Instagram, I'll actually use the sound. That way I'm not using original audio, that kind of thing. So I don't know. I don't know if that's really a hack, but that's what I do. And post. I'm sorry for flooding y'all's feeds today, but I'm not sorry actually, because it's all cute stuff, so. <laughs> and I finished just in time. That way I can go get little miss. Hi, bye boys What are you doing? Did you have a good day? As I was leaving the girls in there and I were talking, I'm like, I could not, I can't do the puppy phase again or whatever. And the lady there, she goes, I give you six months before you get another one. <laughs> 
bitch, she's probably right. I hope it's not that soon, but I'm so glad that she can see through my facade of not wanting another puppy. <laughs> I haven't unpacked my bag yet, so we're just gonna put this in the office and this will become a tomorrow task. Griffin is already on his way home, probably about halfway home by now. So I wanna see what we're gonna make for dinner. I'm thinking about a HelloFresh, but honestly, we only have like three bags left and it's Tuesday or Wednesday, but I don't really know what else to make. We have some chicken nuggets, which I know Griffin is all for, but I don't know what else we would eat with it. We don't have any fries left. I thought we did. So I can always make mac and cheese. I feel like that is always the perfect thing to eat with chicken nuggets. Got a nice simple dinner tonight, but I do have to make craft mac and cheese or else Griffin will hate me because he hates Velveeta for whatever reason. I'm gonna preheat to 400. And I'll go ahead and boil some water. And now we wait. <laughs> well, Steve, I just walked in the door. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Got a little miss and kitty. <laughs> Dinner is served. And for little miss too. Break. Good girl. <laughs> this is Dinner of Champions, a true adult dinner, and we're gonna watch some new girl.